Hello, people, and welcome back to some more Metroid Zero Mission with Robber Link. And Vito. Mm-hmm. So, where we left off... We you, got the, uh... You got the various suit? Yes. I was going to say the charge beat, but I'm like, no, wait, that was two episodes ago. Mm-hmm. And now we're headed back to Norfair again. To go even deeper than last time. Which should be easy, since I now have lava-proof suit. Coming down. Wait, 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 let me out. Mm. Okay, that was weird. It just didn't want to let me go. Okay, so I think where I where that Chozo statue is below this area. There's that lava area, or the heated area. Yeah, so I actually have to go the other way. Yep. Aw, oh, it stopped me. Like, take it out on that weird spitting thing on the floor. Yes. Like, take my rage. Take it. One layer. Then we have to go all the way here. Wait, what? That hurts? Hmm. I guess that is the the same appearance as the superheated lava, so yeah. Huh. It's more bubbly. What? And you ran into the door before you opened it. I noticed. Okay, so it should be through here. I guess so. That's the other thing we got, the high jump. Oh yeah. Because that was what was here. and jumping. Oh, that's good. Right. I think there is another way in there that you could go. Do tell. Like, if you go to the right and lay some more bombs in here. Oh. Okay. Much safer. Okay, I guess I can't kill him. You might be able to with a missile if you really want to. Huh, you're right. Holy. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure creatures living while being on fire is unholy. Unholy smokes. Indeed. What's this? Okay. Just a lot of rubble. I guess so. Let me guess. Is this speed? Yep. Alright. Gotta clear away everything first. Yep. At least it's just that one. Better be. 
You jumped way too quick. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. And charge! There we go. Yay. Oh, you're a big one. Very big. Look, I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. <sighs> hmm. Alright then. Big and menacing, but not too harmful. Alright. So how close are we now? Hmm, right above it. Yep. Oh, okay. Dang it, Mario. You take, have one job. Like, take these pipes back to your game and clean them out. I don't care if they're filled with lava. Whoa. That was a new enemy. Hmm. Could that lava be fake? It is. Hmm. For some reason, I had a sneaking suspicion. Not sure why it's fake, though. You want to go to the red room first, though? Yeah, you're right. Just to see what it is. Oh ho! Ah. Map room. Give me data. Hmm. So it looks like we're headed to a hidden room. I guess so. Once again. It's like, why can the objectives never be on the map? It's like, how much can one place hide? Or one planet hide? Is there anything up here? I instinctively wanted to go back because of the super heat. Yep. Okay, this looks like it's just another way in. Yeah, unless there's something like a... Yeah, it doesn't look like there is anything hidden in here. Yep. All right, then. That was my mistake. How do I... You might be able to freeze that thing that comes out. Unless you aim up for no apparent reason. Big brain. Only the biggest here at the Vitonium Channel. Of course. Okay. Now into the fake superheated lava. If it'll let me. There we go. Ow. Do, the, do they have jet thrusters? Yeah, I was actually thinking about that. Wow. I assume this is real. Yes, it is. I didn't expect it to be deep, either. Jeez. Guess we'll have to deal with that later. <sighs> oh, look, it's a seahorse. Or a lava horse. I suppose. Oh, wait. Could you not while we're on a precarious pillar? Well, really? that could be trouble. Can you freeze that guy and use him? This platform? Yes. Huh. Okay. Alright, so was it like below this? Hmm. I don't know if there's anything destructible in here.
Hmm, that guy got caught in the vine. Indeed. Or is it a tentacle? Dun dun dun. Okay. That's taken care of. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be real. <laughs> okay. Save complete. Hmm. This seems like a roundabout way to get there, but... enough running room to get through all of this? Whoa! Now if I do that... Well, it's gonna be hard. Since, uh... You could just shoot it. But, you but should... there's two layers. Yeah, you should be able to speed boost through both of them, but do you have enough room before this area to build up a charge? Hmm. Nah, no, I can't freeze them. Do you want to check if that was in fact fake lava to the left? Alright. Tally-ho. It was. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I, I do think I actually know what you need to get the speed boost for that area to work. And it's not something you have yet. Hmm. Oh, did I just hurt him by jumping on him? Okay, never mind. It was the charge beam thing. Ah. Uh -huh. Like I said, it's it's not as powerful as like the actual screw attack, and it will still hurt you. Dang, he got even faster. Okay. Yay, new Ooh. upgrade. Gimme. Wave beam. Oh. This beam, which is made up of energy, waves can pass through solid objects. Oh. I would get the health. I just wanna look at it, look at it first. Alright. So yeah, in Metroid Prime, things like the wave beam and all that, and the ice beam, they focus more on the element that it has, whereas in this, it more just focuses on the one effect that it adds to your beam. In the case of the wave beam, it's passing through walls. But I assume it'll also still freeze enemies it doesn't kill. If they're freezable, yes. Yeah. Because as I said before, they do compound the weapons. The beam weapons, anyways. Right. Although it is something that they kind of did in Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, because there was no weapon swapping in that. But there it was not so much uh, like a feature of each one that you got, although maybe. But it was more so that they just got more powerful, mostly. Hmm. They didn't do a whole lot with the features of that. At least not that I remember. Me neither, but it's been a, quite a while since I played Prime 3. Alright. So maybe now... Yep. Okay. Oh look, another big ugly thing. Indeed. Oh, uh -huh. it appears to have a weak underbelly. Oh, 
I can't go back, apparently, even if I wanted to. The door is locked. Ow, 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 ow. Jeez. Huh. You might need missiles. Oh. What? That shoves them back a little bit. You might need to not wait so long between missiles. Now, how can you hurt his underbelly from here? Well, I don't know, but I only have one more shot because that used up like half my missiles. Unless... I think you just need to push him back and then lay some... Uh, oh, normal fire does it too. Okay. Okay, not as fast though. Really seems faster. Look how slowly he's going. Okay, true. Now what? So now I think you need to lay more fall bombs so that he runs over them. Ah. Hurts. From all the spamming? Yeah. I got him. Okay. There's something in there, too. Oh. I mean, you're not going to find it by just jumping. What? Are you sure about that? That wasn't a jump. Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay, how do I... You can use the Morpho Bomb. And it'll tell you. It didn't tell me. You weren't close enough when you landed, you, when you dropped it. I can't... Oh, now it lets me. There you I go. won't be angry at someone or something, but I have no one to be angry at but myself. <laughs> so now we should have enough running room to break through that floor. Ah. Okay. So did I get all the... um? Energy upgrades in the game? No. Okay. I was just wondering because it Cause looked of, full. Yeah. Okay. Making progress. Painfully, but surely. Closer are we? Actually, wait, where are we going? Well, I guess we're headed to the Ridley area. Sounds fun. Um. Well, it looks like a bug. But it looks like it maybe has some sort of growths on it? I don't know. So what is holding it up? That's a good question. Nah, I placed it too high. Yeah. Looks like it's being held up there by more of those vines. It is becoming one with the, the forest or swamp, I don't know. I haven't been paying enough attention. Oh, 
Yep, so you unfroze right, right beneath your feet. <laughs> I noticed. I'm not sure has the uh, the flying thing done more damage to you so far. I think so. Oh. I thought I could aim down for some reason. I think you can if you jump. Yeah, but... Hmm. Also, why is it unfreezing so quickly? <laughs> I guess it's a special feature of this winged one. Which, which is kind of strange that it has wings when the normal ones can fly anyways. Yeah. They just fly left and right. It's like wings for added maneuverability, I guess. I only have enough time to get like one or two shots in. Okay, that one was good. Yeah, you got like four shots in that one. Well, we're making steady prog progress. Yep. I think we got rid of like two of those vine things. It's like we're getting rid of vines and then TikTok is going to come and replace them. So, this really isn't that hard, it's just kind of tedious. Yeah, a little bit, and time-consuming. Okay, I think I have- I think I got all the ones on this side. Ow. <laughs> thought you thought you could duck under me? Swoop! Bump. Oh. Is this phase two, or do I get him? I think you got him for now. He seems to be uncomfortably in that hole. Indeed. Well, not my problem. Off we go. <laughs> oh, look, two whales. Interesting. Ridley. Hmm. You're not gonna save? Eh, hey, I guess so. And, I don't know, we could end it here. Eh, I kind of feel like exploring just a little bit. Alright. <laughs> I'm actually just kind of worried if you get too far, it might end up being a bit before we can get to the next save or something. Yeah. So apparently that's the thing we just dropped. It seems to have gone further down. I guess so, and is going kind of some sort of chrysalis. I think that's what it's called. What about the other side? That's a hole. I think that's meant to be like a farming location. Huh. Alright, well, I guess we'll uh, figure out where to go next time then. Mm-hmm. All right. So, we made good progress, of course. Got the wave beam. Mm -hmm. Now we're in Ridley's lair or something like that. I don't know, it's just Ridley. Okay, so we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.